Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on the Nintendo Switch and I'm going to be completely honest, I almost forgot what the game was called then, halfway through the introduction. Anyway, um, so yeah, last time we left off we were pretty much planning to finish off China, we are making good progress there, we have lots of artillery, we have tanks, and all that's going to go towards taking the city state and then getting that second source of uranium. Now in the last episode I was like, how do we know kind of how to get the second source of uranium, and thank you to Jeremy who once again has answered that question and has told me that basically I don't know how I forget things like this it's pretty embarrassing but if you look at the tile details it tells you doesn't it so um, you do that on the switch version of the game by pressing the minus button on your joy con and so that tells us that the uranium blah 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 and it's owned by China and it belongs to the city of Beijing so to make sure we capture both of those uranium which we need to kind of keep upgrading our tanks to better tanks and things like that we need to make sure that at the end of this war either through the peace treaty or by taking it by force we own both the city state which we will do by taking by force because that's the only way we can take it and also Beijing once they're took I'm not that bothered we might launch an offensive over here just for brownie points in the uh, not brownie points really but for, for for kind of bargaining chips that's a better way to put it isn't it in the negotiations but we'll see how that goes and um, the first thing we need to do though is end um, end the turn once again, a big thank you to everybody who does keep watching and enjoying and liking and all that good stuff. I have a... Okay. Thanks, Persia. I'm trying to say all these positive things and you're just bringing negativity to the episode. Great. Thinks we're... Again. Again. People should not just think we are a warmonger. We definitely are. We need a bit more clarity there from these people. Um, but yeah, thank you all for that. Um, what are you going to do? <laughs> Gilgamesh. Don't get bitter. And, I mean, you can try and get even, but I think that'll go badly. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody who did that. Um, and there's a new playthrough starting um, over the weekend, probably, in the next few days. It is a PC playthrough of a similar strategy game. I'd like some people to have a guess at what that is. Um, that does not mean, though, I'm just ignoring all the battles because I think we're going to win. And that does not mean I'm, I'm dropping save. We're going to keep going to the end of this series with save, and then I'm going to start something else with save pretty much straight away. It's just something else. So have a guess. Leave what other game are we playing? Alone. What? Leave the atom alone. Thanks, Sean. Uh, we've got nuclear bombs, so maybe we should prove we are warm um, warmonger. Um. Okay. Yep. Nice. Um, but you have a guess at what this new playthrough is. I'll give you a clue. It's a recently released game on the PC and it's sort of strategy. So I think somebody's talked to me about it in the comments before. So have a guess at that. Hopefully you will enjoy that as well. And thank you to everybody who did go along and watch the Mario Kart video. I appreciate all that. Anyway, let's get back on with Civ. Um, we can we can range attack these from here. So we're going to do... Oh, so about four turns, that's going to be done. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to play the the reasonably long game here because we mines as well. I don't no point risking lots of troops. We just want to bring the walls down as efficiently as possible, and it won't take forever anyway. I mean, this is a bit pointless. I'm kind of tempted if we if I feel like we have the troops to just rush in and siege the bugger, because then it'll come down faster. I quite like that. We have our great general there. Who is it? It's, I think it's Genghis Khan, though, so... It, I'm, I'm... Yeah. I think Genghis Khan might be a little outdated at this point, but we'll, we'll, we'll press on with that. Why don't we just go in with the tanks? How bad? Mm, definitely not worth it. Okay, we'll wait a few more turns, uh, bring the walls down, then charge in with the tank army, and everything will be fine. Right, we've... Oh, my God. We've spotted barbarians? Oh, what is the point? They have turned upon a wooden ship. We have machine guns. Goodbye. Again, just as effective as they are with knights. They're also good at taking out wooden ships. Okay. Um, if I remember rightly, we almost died with this battleship. So we probably just want to go back to friendly waters and finish healing. Let's go and have a look, see what's up here, though. Oh, God, I, th I forgot we had quick movement on. That, that, that scared me. Um, City Boo's Cold War, nice. Ravana does not provide enough food. That's worrying. I mean, we could actually, if we grabbed a builder, we could definitely build farms around here. 
We're definitely not maximizing food production, are we, really? Let's have a look. I've also been playing this game recently. Oh, God. 785. You know, just build a builder and then... Yeah. I've been playing this game recently on the PC as well, so there's a few videos I've got planned out for Civ and stuff like that. Oh, God, no, this is pointless. Bang. Okay, we cannot range attack yet. Can we range attack with the medic? No. What? 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 I'm just thinking, I'm, I want to put these to use because... Why not? <laughs> why not try and put these to use a bit? Even if it goes wrong, does it matter? Oh, they have a biplane! Wow, they've excelled. I'm pretty sure the artillery will get range attacked, but with the medic, um, it'll probably be fine. You stay there. Ooh, we can promote you. Ooh, the will go arrow storm. Alright, I'm you know these new cities, I'm not so bothered if they don't provide enough food, produce enough food. Oh wow, we're not even working the cattle and stuff. There's definitely things we 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 need a few builders over here, don't we? We've got one coming there, but three build charges is not gonna sort this mess out. Oil, oil, fish, oh my god. How much stuff are we not working over here? All right, we'll bear that in mind. We want baths and builders. Okay, so the new cities aren't providing enough food. Stockholm needs more amenities, which is very sad. That is so annoying. If this was Rise and Fall, they would not get away with putting that there. Oh, you're building an entertainment complex, which is good. Larsa needs more housing. Yeah, again, we could build plenty of farms here. Which would, you know, we're getting a builder. We're, we are getting a builder. Bloody hell. How long? Oh my god. <laughs> yep, we need more baths. Um, that is taking ages. Oh, we might see if we can build it quicker anywhere else. Or I might just spend some money. But I want to save the money for upgrading things. On three privateers, that's not going to happen. I feel like we might as well go for the science stuff, and then we can leave our options open. Let's go for rocketry. Because that's how cool we are. Right. Um, oh, you can promote as well. Oh, no, you can't. You can heal, though. So get yourself healed. Yeah, just just stay there, and let's see what happens. They'll probably cause us a bit of damage, but nothing we can't handle. Oh my god. This is how crap Greece are. We're going to bring the walls down with one battleship. I'm not even bothered. Like, I do not even want the city. I just want to cause them problems. Yeah, you stay here. You stay here and just... <laughs> you are taking fire, though, but... I don't know. It'll be fine. If you die, it's only one infantry. Right, so Baghdad has completed a sewer... But the real question is, can we build a bath? We could build the Manhattan Project, which would be nice. I mean, when's that ever gone badly? We can't build a bath. Uh, get an arena. <gasps> Greek builders. Well, archaeologists, aren't they? Damn. Oh, God, you've got a... Everyone's got a housing problem. Luckily, we can fix that with the granary, so that's the builder out the window. 11 turns. I feel like I don't want to wait 11 turns for a builder. But we've half built it now. Right, well, mines as well. I'm trying to think how long I've recorded so far, and I have literally no idea. Alright, so they are targeting the artillery, which is to be expected. What? And oh, that was on the machine gun. Very scary. Mm. I feel like we're just taking hits for no reason. 
but we're actually healing more than the damage they're doing. Which is interesting. Right, how much damage can we do with this piece of artillery? Like, basically, is it worth risking it? No, not with the medic. We can't send the bloody medic in. There we go. Ah, oh, we can do plenty. Yeah, we haven't done that much damage. Let's be fair. Just fly. Zoom in. <laughs> Things like that are just so not worth it. And I don't know why I keep looking at it. Oh, you need more amenities. Join the queue. Plenty of places do need more amenities. Um, can we build a bath? Bath. Now we've got one. Which is kind of good. Build an arena. Six turns. It's like a bargain. I just feel like there's going to be an island up here. Ooh. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. I was hoping it wasn't going to... Oh, no. This could be bad. Submarine is going to be better than Battleship right now. That's bad. <laughs> oh, well. We'll see what happens. Bath completed there, which is nice. Um, housing's great as well. I feel like we should have... It's kind of weird not having monuments at this stage. Um, I don't think we need builders in the... I think this isn't... Yeah, Lublin, the Polish bit of the Empire. Do we need builders? I mean, we could improve some stuff around. So a builder, I guess, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Just to keep things ticking over and improving. Especially with housing. I mean, go on six turns then. We'll get a builder. Um, let's swap you out. You can go close to the front and then... So if we need you to just randomly attack, you can. And we'll get that one infantry in the capital. As we continue our siege. Oh no. Have they built walls? Have they repaired walls? Or I think they must have built walls. Damn. I will, however, continue being a nuisance. I mean, realistically, I could have brought the battleship down, but... We want to make sure we're protecting our interests to say if any um, Greek ships turn up. We want to make sure we are keeping our interests protected. I think I just said the same thing but, but phrased it differently. Right, come on. Right, here we go. This is the big guns. These are where we're going to make the difference. Oh, yes. You know what? The tanks could be walking in next turn. That'd be very exciting. Look at that. God, just go, boys. Straight over the walls. What's the worst that happens? We could... I'm thinking we could take this now. We're not going to because it's not worth taking the losses. Wow. Yeah, we, we could... We could take that. Pammy just thinks get it out of the way. I'm thinking that's a good idea. Okay, sorry to put a brief pause in there. Anyway, we were going to capture this city here, this city-state. I was thinking just wait another turn for the artillery, but then I thought, well, we can pretty much finish them off very nearly for very little damage with the tank army. And then how much damage could we do with this? It'd be close, wouldn't it? It'd be close. Okay, we'll just wait till next turn, actually. I was just thinking, though, if we did it, we could sort of get it out of the way quicker. And we'll just wait for, for the next turn. We've still got 10 minutes in this episode. I want to make sure we catch that city state by then. So we'll hopefully it'll all go okay. Um, so in this city, we're going to... Um, we've just captured it, obviously, for China in the last few episodes. Um, we're going to just get on with repairing things. Which is pretty much all you do when you capture a city is repair, repair, repair. Um, you can just sit there. Stay there. Um, obviously, as well, once we, once we make this peace deal with China... Um, it is going to be time for Genghis Khan's retirement party. I don't know what that'll be like. I imagine incredibly violent, but um, you're obviously all invited. Um, I'm not sure you want to come. Anyway, it's going to be a sad day seeing um, Genghis Khan retire. They're worse than I ever thought I'd say in my life. Can we just... Oh, God, this is absolutely point. Let's just fire at it for no reason. That is doing so little damage, but, you know, we're not doing anything else with that, so we might as well. Okay, um, I just want to very quickly talk about as well, we obviously have 6,000 faith, I like to keep all that stored up, just like all that gold I won't spend. Um, oh god, I should have bought, bought, I could probably buy some builders, couldn't I? Definitely, because we're not doing anything else with the money. 
apart from their upgrades, which aren't coming yet. Um, we have all this faith, and we can use some of it to get a great person. So we could get a great engineer, um, Sergei Korolev. God, that's, I've butchered that. Um, activated plus 1,500 production towards a space race project. Maybe if we fancy switching kind of tack right now, I think we could go for a space race victory. That'd be nice. So we could purchase him with faith. Um, we have this great merchant here. You know, just have a quick think about these. We could get, we're not far off getting another great scientist. Um, obviously, we need the Eureka moments from great scientists to get the Eurekas now. Um, sorry, we need the boost to get the great si um, from the great scientists because we don't get things for like building a mine anymore. That doesn't give you an, a Eureka at the start at this point of the game. Um, I wouldn't want. I don't want to go for any of the cultural ones because what's the point? Um, so we could get like a great scientist or a great engineer with that faith. Let me know your preference down below, please. Um, and I, I will pursue that at the start of the next episode. I meant to talk about that right at the start, but I, I'll level with you. I forgot. Which is um, a common theme. Right. We really should be bringing the walls down of this city state. I don't want to make peace with you. That is a lot of gold for 30 turns. Like, if this was at another point in the game, I'd be like, yeah, peace. We're going to go down the pub for a drink. That'd be weird. I can't imagine walking into my local with Pericles of Greece. I wonder what he'd drink. I feel like something sophisticated. Oh, the biplanes here. Okay, so he's coming at us with some really nice money for peace. We're not done yet, though. Once I've captured... Oh, okay. You know, we really could, actually, couldn't we? Because if we could get Beijing in the peace deal, we'd be fine. We need to capture the city-state first, though, actually. There we go. Because we can't just... You know, China's still going to be cesarean, so if we make peace with China, we ain't getting this city-state. And I need it for the uranium. Why do they keep score? Yes. Professional sports. Um, obviously, Sean Bean there giving a quote um, fr from that. And an interesting fact about Sean Bean and sports is that his football team, Sheffield United, got promoted to the Premier League in um, English football or soccer, as you Americans wrongly call it. Um, but we'll not get into that. That's a joke. Don't get offended. Um, but this is going to be good. Um, this, the, all these are going to be good for managing amenities. A stadium plus two amenities from entertainment. If we could get the uh, Maracanã, which is obviously, I think, a Brazilian football stadium, um, then that would be great. So we need to have a look at them. But these are this is why I went for it, because of the amenities. Right. So I'm thinking, what is that? So the one we just got is Sports Media. Plus 100% theatre square district adjacency bonus and stadiums generate plus one amenities. Now, we're not that bothered about theatre squares, but if we could get some stadiums in, that would be very useful. Um, we've not got any yet, so I'm not going to put it in at this point, but I think it's something to bear in mind um, as we're going forward. We're going to keep everything else in, though. The new deal's good for amenities, and then the others are good for, uh, for, the, for the economy. Propaganda, good for war weariness. And the professional army is needed for when we finally get this bloody uranium. When we get it, it'll be great. It's a shame that Greece can't give us... Um, I feel like it's time to run away. It's a shame that Greece can't give us Athens in a peace deal, but... Mm, uh, yeah. So we need more amenities everywhere, still. How bad is the amenities situation? Okay, we've... Yeah, they're displeased. They're not absolutely furious, but um, they're not happy. And that was the city screen, which I, I probably underused in this playthrough. You need more housing, but you're building a granary, so that's good. This battleship's available for a promotion, but before we do that, let's bring the walls down. Yeah, I think I'll just play this turn and... Oh, yeah, like, this is fine. I'll play this turn and then, you know, once this is done... Um, hopefully we'll have a peace deal with China. This city is definitely coming down this turn. It's a shame we can't vassalize China at this stage. 
That'd be an interesting dynamic. Mm. It's just not worth it, is it? It's not worth losing the artillery. Just get out of the way. Hopefully they'll give us Beijing anyway. If not, we can just push down from the north and take it. Yeah, keep attacking. Right. Okay, um, we could take out pretty much anything we wanted here. We've got everything in the city. This is the most pointless attack in the world. Right, let's just, yeah. I mean, we could even walk in with the infantry. We're not going to because we've got tanks. And frankly, tanks are cooler. Here it goes. Bang. There we go. And everybody was calling us a warmonger at the start of this episode. And frankly, as I keep saying, they are spot on. Can we attack you? The more damage I can do before we go into this peace deal, the better. Wow, yeah. Didn't do a crazy amount of... Oh, no, we did. We killed them all. I'm like, didn't do a crazy amount of damage and now they're all dead. Right, if we can take Beijing from China plus a ton of money, I think we're happy. Right, um, let, first things first, let's actually keep the city though. We want the uranium, so we've got to make sure we're working that. Um, yeah, they've been defeated, surprisingly. I'm thinking class struggle, three turns, we get a load more policies, which I'm not sure if they'll be useful. But um, we get them. Might as well get all these policies unlocked. You give us a, ride, a wider range of choice. Um, can we promote you? We can. Oh, cool. Let's go with that. Right. So, remember when China declared war and sent all them knights in? Well, that's gone badly for them. And now they're going to, like, give us a really nice peace deal. So, yeah. That's very basic, make peace. I just want to make sure that, one, they're seeding those two cities. Do we have two of their cities? Oh, yes, of course we do. There's one further up, isn't there? I forgot. And we also want Beijing. Which comes along with all those nice resources. Where's the uranium on there? Um, I'm sure we can work it. Right. So then we want lots of gold per turn. Probably more than that. And all your money. Right, so let's put that gold up to... I don't want any more cities. I'm more bothered about gold, because then we can definitely upgrade everything. At right, maximum you can give us. There we go. I think that's pretty much all the gold, isn't it? Okay, 231 is the max. Um, and they, he offered us 100 gold per turn. So let's try and get that up to 100. Oh, he's still happy. Right. I think there's more milking to be done. I don't really want them cities. I'll take the great work off him. In fact, we could. We could put that up. B, B, um, what about 200? Do you make that much? Um, no, you make 140 per turn. So we'll be taking all of that, thank you. Um, I don't want any more cities because they'll just be a nightmare. Mm, yeah, and we'll take the great work just so you don't have it and we do. Um, yeah, we'll take the salt. We've got mercury and tobacco. Okay, we'll just take it all. Yeah, things we don't even need. We could take other cities, but... So we're seeding those two cities, which is crucial, because that's their capital as well. We're also taking Beijing, because the uranium is within its borders, I think. 
I'm hoping it is. I'm sure it said it was. And we're getting all that money and everything else. Okay. We will accept that deal. Thank you for doing business with us, China. Smile. Smile. Yeah. We are grateful. Yeah. I would be as well. Yes, we have the uranium. I've just seen. I've just seen. I was panicking. It's like, where is it? Right. So, obviously, China, you know, it could still pose a threat to us, but... Having Beijing as well and having the uranium is the crucial bits. Um, we'll just try and keep them sweet, really, and keep a, 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 a solid enough defensive force in case they do attack. Um, hopefully they'll have learnt the lesson, though, because that went bad for them. I want to buy a builder. You know, might as well. We're not spending that on anything else, so next turn we should be able to... Yeah, I think it's just that one we need to work. I think we just need to work that one. And then we should be able to upgrade our tanks. Which is very exciting. Oh, peace. There's lots of peace in the world. Fantastic. That's why I'm a man of peace. I bring war first, but then, you know, it's necessary to bring that everlasting peace. Uh, we could go for a stadium. We have a bath. We have a how we have a housing problem as well. Um, oh yeah, sewer will sort that out. People can't live in the stadium. The bath completed there. We definitely want to grab some more builders. Can you build a bath? Oh no, you need to repair everything first. Oh my days, it's gonna take you forever. Yeah, repair the monument to start with. Can you build a bath? No. Damn it. Have we got walls? I think we have walls. Um. Could build an airport. It'd be very good to have a decent air force around here because, you know, that sort of covers it off, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, we'll go for an armory just to help production and stuff like that. Um. I want to move our air force down here. Can we rebase you, please? There we go. You go down there. That's something. Um, just so we're in a good position in case they do decide to get brave. Essentially, we need to focus our defensive efforts on the capital, though, because that's all we really need to hold. Right. Um... Oh, policy's gone. Do we unlock a policy? Um, right, what should we put in this one? I have no idea. Okay, what I'll do is I'll have a think about what to stick in this other... I need to look back. I thought if that was free. See what we had in there? And we'll have a look back. What do you want me to put in this other slot, though? It's a wildcard slot, so we can put anything in there we want. So just do let me know what you want me to put in there. Do we want any great person points? Um, anything like that. I'm also going to buy a great person with faith in the next episode, so let me know there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please do keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section below. And I will keep reading them, keep responding. Um, and hopefully you'll enjoy the content we've got coming up in the next few weeks. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon.